beginning to be quite a marksman. Look, don't be overly anxious to use them on him. It's only if there's no other way out. With those poison stars, all you have to do is nick him. And Mr. Driscoll is a dead man. Okay, come on, sit down. I want to remove the bandages. Let's see if all of this has been worth waiting for. Would you put out the gum? The cup. How do you like your new face, Rick? I'm gonna get two weeks off for a tennis ranch, and this has to happen. A tennis ranch? Sam, why do you want to go there? You play five days a week when you're here. I'm not improving, Abby. At least at a tennis ranch, I can work on my strokes. What's uh, wrong? I lost a filling. Oh. Come on, don't you stand there. Help me find my wallet. Sam, that's not the one with your card in it. I've only got one. Right. How am I going to pay for my vacation without my credit card? No, Sam, your security card. How long has it been gone? I don't know. Three or four days, I guess. Four days? Sam, it could be stolen. How'd you get in the room? How can he stop me when he can't see me? That reminds me, Abby. This button's been jamming on me. Here, let me see it. Gotta be here somewhere. I can't imagine how I misplaced it. I'm looking for Sam Casey. Oh, uh, he's not here. What is that? Um, an experiment. Telekinesis. Listen, what do you want with Sam? Oh, uh, we just found his wallet out on the front lawn. Oh, thank you. He's been looking everywhere for it. Uh, listen, I'll be sure he gets it. It's all right, really. Okay, thanks very much. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, well, your security pass is still here. But the 
Money's gone. It's all right. What money to begin with? These buttons are a little stiff, but I think they're all right. Here, where's your wrist? Sam. Oh, thanks, Abby. Boy, thanks for the wand, too. Okay. Bye. Bye. The girl, and I'll send you a letter no. postcard from Arizona. Okay. Oh, uh, Sam, it's your dentist. Too late. I'm gone. Wait, but. Uh... All right, all right, I'm coming. Buy my wallet first. Okay, go ahead. All right, all right, I'm coming. But I gotta find my wallet first. No, 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 no. We can't have a trace of, of your Cockney accent. Uh, uh, I did not. Uh, it's all right. Rick, will you please concentrate? Get yourself in a tizzy. All right, all right, I'm coming. But I've got to find my wallet first. Well, that's better. Let's try something more difficult. Bloody yeah. I don't know why the cat learned to speak the king's English like the rest of us. Sam, that's not the one with your card in it. I only got one. That's right. How am I going to pay for my vacation without my credit card? Oh, I've only got one. That's right. How am I going to pay for my vacation without my credit card? No, Rick. He uses more contractions. He says, uh, gonna instead of going to. And look, do me a favor. This time, without the gum, that's one bad habit Sam Casey doesn't have. Well, I hope I don't have to give up all my bad habits, love. <sighs> I've only got one. That's right. How am I going to pay for my vacation without my credit card? That's excellent. There's only one difference now between that bloke and me, and that's our bank accounts. At this bloody thing's over, I'm going to be rich, and Sam Casey's going to be pushing up daisies. Yeah, right, love. Come on, love, give us a kiss for luck. <laughs> Up, love. Give us some hair here. Oh. Oh, nice game, kid. Good match, Sam. It's for the workout, too. Well, it was great for me. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't get another set in, but I've got a uh, lesson for me over the tennis pro here. Oh, yeah. How about tomorrow? Sure, I'd love to. Thanks, Dick. Mr. Casey. Yeah. You're my four o'clock, aren't you? Yeah I, uh, yeah, I suppose so. You're the... Uh, <laughs> The pro, huh? Well, were you expecting possibly Pancho Gonzalez? <laughs> okay, let's go out on the court and let me see your serve. Right. Okay, why don't we just start with your basic serve? Here. Oh, I'm sorry. No, your feet are much too close together. Spread them apart, like this. Look at me. You take a very comfortable stance. This foot points diagonally across the court, like this. Okay. Bounce the ball. It trains your eye to look at it. You notice most of the, the pros do it. Jimmy Connor says this quite a bit. Then you do this. Watch. Just by the numbers. Start here. You rock forward. You move back. Racket comes back. Arm extends up with the ball. You release it. Follow through, snapping across. Think you can do that? Yeah. Bounce the ball, right? Right. Feet, feet spread. Racket, arm up together. All right. It's just a flow to it, like music. Like music. Yes. That was fantastic. It's amazing what you can do with a little instruction. You've been putting me on, haven't you? No, me? Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what? I bet with just a little bit of help, I could get you ready for Wimbledon. When do we start? How about uh, 5.30 in my room for cocktails? Have you got a net in your room? Oh, 
could have. Got the watch? Good. I don't know why Driscoll and Lawrence have duplicate watches. That's something you're gonna have to find out on your own. Just guard it carefully. We don't want them to discover that it's a camera. Right, yeah. Got the stars? Good. You got the duplicate of Casey's wallet? Good. Play what we do with these? Bloody mints. Gas bombs. Just take a big deep breath, throw it on the ground, and it should render everyone unconscious. Just in case. That appeals to me. I like that. Listen. Be careful. Piece of cake, Doc. Piece of cake. Your serve certainly is improving. Thanks, Coach. Definitely. Stay longer, Sam. I was enjoying it. Alf? Take him on down to the car. And if anybody asks, just say, uh, he's drunk. Too bad we just couldn't get him to disappear or something. That is very, very impressive, but much too valuable to be kept in our complex. I'm going to classify it eyes only and have it shipped to Washington immediately. Hold on, Grant. Yeah? Mr. Driscoll, Sam Casey's coming in to see you. Sam? Well, he's on vacation. No, sir, he's here. All right, send him in. Grant, I'll have to get back to you. Once again, congratulations. Okay. What happened to the tennis cam? Thought you couldn't wait to go. They were having a heat wave. 120 out of the court. At 110, I began to cook. No way I was going to stay out there. Well, actually, I'm glad you're back. My stabilizer's been getting out of sync with Abby's. We're not sure who's wrong. What you're reading? Fair and warmer. Sam. Yeah, Driscoll. Okay, I'll be right down. They just. Finished installing the new research computer. Walk it down and have a look at it. You've seen one, you've seen them all. Now I'll wait for you up here. Okay. Got something for me? Something called the Lambda Road Project. It's top secret. You cannot drop it for a second. Keep up the American accent and spit out the gum. All right, mate. I'll get your knickers in a twist. Howard. 
things going in Arizona. It should be all over by now. Once it's lit, you can't put it out. Good. Okay, that does it. He'll be buried in this deserted mine, 50 miles from nowhere. I'd say that's a well-hidden body. I think that just about covers it. You know, Sam Casey, you really were a terrific kisser. I'm really sorry I have to say goodbye. Light it. for a long midnight stroll. And yesterday, when I was having dinner, he was popping on and off with every course. No. He's got to stop playing around with invisibility like it was some sort of... Sam. Just what do you think you're doing? Well, I was... Uh... Just checking the performance reports on the uh, new computer. Sorry, didn't think you'd mind. No, Sam, he's talking about your disappearing act yesterday. Yesterday? Come on, come on, come on, Sam. Don't play dumb, it's around dinner time. Mr. Driscoll, pick up on four. <sighs> Ugh. Sam, there's enough sugar in there to make your teeth fall out. I thought you took it black. Well, I had a bit of a sweet tooth this morning. What's going on here? Why is uh, everyone ganging up on me, huh? There's a man on the line who claims to be Sam Casey. Sam? Well, it's impossible. He's standing right in front of me. Must be a joke. I'm sorry, but he insists on talking to you. He says it's an emergency. All right, I'll take it. Hello? Hello, Leonard. Who is this? What do you mean, who is this? It's me, Sam. Sam? That can't be. Listen. 
Wherever you are, just disappear. What? Leonard, what's going on? Leonard, I'm telling you, it's me, Sam. Just do what I tell you, do it. All right. All right, how's that? Appear? Yeah. All right, Leonard, I'm back. Well, Sam, get back here as fast as you can. You're not going to believe what's just happened. Security is using Leonard's office as an interrogation room. Who are they interrogating? What's with all the secrecy here? You'll see. Any luck? Can't get a word out of him. Have a look. His fingerprints, dental work, and birthmarks. Everything's a dead end. The only thing we know is that he's had recent plastic surgery. And he had you down cold. How long has he been here? One day. But time enough to photograph everything on my desk and pass the film to someone else. Camera? Mm hmm. Now the film we found in that this morning had photographs of my morning's mail? Leonard, does he know about me? We don't think so. That's one of the things that gave him away. Yeah, but that doesn't offset the damages. He probably photographed a top-secret, eyes-only report that Grant Hennessy was working on. It was on my desk yesterday when I left him alone in the room. The Lambda Row Project, Sam. Somebody should pay a lot of money for that. Right now, it doesn't look like there's any way to get it back. Wait a minute. Leonard, if he could make all of you believe that he was me, why can't I make his people believe that I am him? Oh, that's a pretty risky ploy. Look, Leonard, somebody tried to kill me in Arizona. Then they stick this two-bit carbon copy in my place. Now, I take that very personally, and I want to sit around here and let him get away with it. Sam. Leonard, either you authorize it or I'm going to do it on my own. All right. Any leads? Yeah. Just these. some coffee in your sugar. Man, how do you stand that? Well, uh, sweets for the sweet. Ho, oh, oh. ho. You got some film? No, not today. She won't like that. Oh, wait. Hold it. I've got to talk to her in person. What? Look, what I gotta tell her is too important for a middleman. Don't overrate yourself, Hotshot. Look, are you gonna take me to her, or do I have to hitch? Okay. But it better be good. All you have to do is tell us who you work for, and I'll guarantee a reduced sentence. Hello. Just a minute. Mr. Robbins. 
Robbins. What? You what? How in the... No, come on back. We'll locate him from here. Looks like Sam's going to be on his own. The agent I had tailing him lost him. Meet you in her office. Come on, come on. Um, meet you in her office. And Rick, you can cut out the Sam Casey routine. Talk like yourself. You're among friends. Talk like myself. Oh, brother. excited about it myself. Oh, Rick, I missed you so much. Oh, well, I missed you too, darling. Uh, sweetheart? Yes, honey. Yes, honey. Well, where was, uh, where was Susie going with that box? Uh, to the steam room vault, I guess. Oh, oh, your kisses are nicer than ever. Well, you, you know how danger heightens everything. Oh, Rick, we go away together now. Uh, now? Go away together? No. Yeah. Um, I'm supposed to be in her office right now, honey. Oh, Rick. Armistead can wait. And would you stop talking like Sam Casey? Where's my cockney lad? Sorry, love. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Blimey. Look at the size of that spider behind you. Who? Where? <sighs> Rick? Where are you? <laughs> Rick? Where are you? This is your last chance to cooperate. Who do you work for? All right, that's it. It's gonna have to be moved to a security cell. All right. I'll take care of it. Prices. Ads 
absolutely nobody in here. No, because he ran when we screamed. Oh, it was probably just an attendant. Oh. Now, come on, girls. Let's get back in the steam room. Come on. Oh. Let's hurry along. Hurry up. Come on, come on. Hurry. We've got to get all those electric pounds off, don't we? On your feet. Let's go. Hold it, Gov. Hold it. I've changed my mind. I've decided I want to talk. <laughs> so you do have a tongue in your head, huh? Go ahead. We're listening. All right. I see it's like this. I'm in this country illegally, you understand. And a certain group of gents found out about it and said they'd turn me in if I didn't cooperate with them. I didn't know who they were, so I couldn't wait around to find out. Because, quite frankly, you see, I'm a bit of trouble in my own country. Excuse me, Gov, you might if I have a minute. Uh... Now that you're back in friendly territory, you can chew up a storm. Thank you. <laughs> I thought he'd be dying for a piece. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, sir, where was I? Oh, you know, I'm as patriotic as the next man, you understand. But under the circumstances, now I ask you, what would you have done? I mean, blimey! <laughs> Not the real Sam Casey. Well, I'm a much better looking bloke. Besides, the real Sam Casey's buried in a mine shaft in Arizona. <laughs> Would you two leave Mr. Barrington and me alone? Thank you. Sit down. Is she the reason you came back, or do you really have something for me? I wouldn't have come back if I didn't have something for you. Let me have your watch. Why? Well, I assume that I'm going to have to uh, buy this new information. And I don't want to pay for what I've already purchased. Well, if you won't take it off your wrist, I'm sure uh, Tana will help you. Let's talk about what you know. And how much it's going to cost you. Oh. Hm. You're getting kind of greedy. Hey, mate, could you pick it up a bit? You're being childish, Rick. Take it or leave it. The price is $100,000. How do I know? How do I know what information you have? You don't. And you won't, unless you come up with the money. I think I have that in the vault. I know you do. I saw Susie take it to the steam room. You're getting very nosy. Wait for me here. I shouldn't be too long. Is 
getting out of line. Wants more money. I don't like it. Look, call the switchboard and tell him to disconnect the phone in my office. And then stay here and make sure he doesn't leave. Grace, Sam Casey here. Listen, connect me to Leonard Driscoll, please, in our... Hello? Hello, Grace. Hello? Rick, I want to know how you did that one. How I did what? Get out of the room. How I... Oh, come on, I'm wasting me time. i got to talk to Armstead. Rick! Uh, well, thank you, Robbins. Nice work. We got a break. He grabbed a cab on Main Street. Robbins checked with the dispatcher. The driver radioed in and said he drove a man fitting the description to a place called the Fountain of Life. It's the Fountain of Life Health Spa. It's, it's a fancy fat farm in the mountains, about 30 miles away from here. He's got at least an hour on us. Abby, call and give me a police escort. Right. Find who? Armistead. Well, of course I found her. You were right there in the room. Don't you remember, love? Well, yeah, I know. Oh, uh, listen, I... love, I'm, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Uh, 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 do you mind if I catch you later? She was in her office. I thought, didn't you just tell me you just saw her? No, I haven't seen her. I've been looking for the bloody woman ever since I got here. What is going on? Are you all out of your bleeding minds? Never mind, I'll check with the nurses.
Digits are coming out probably on Tuesday. I think she'll look just... Dr. Armistead! I've been looking all over this bloody place for you. I thought I told you to wait in my office. Yeah, but you haven't told me nothing. This is the first time I lay my eyes on you all day. What's the matter with you? We just had a talk. No, we didn't. We just had a talk. You and me. Wait a minute. He's here. Sam Casey's here at the spa. What? Casey's dead. We buried him no, in Arizona. I'm telling you, he's here. He's here at the spa. That's why you're all acting so balmy. Casey's alive. Yes, he's alive. They caught me in Intersect, but before I escaped, I saw him there. I see. Were you followed? No. We better find him before he blows our cover. <laughs> He's here and he's alive. I'm Sam. It's putting you on, Leonard. I'm Sam. Go on, Leonard. Put the cuffs on him. Are you kidding me? All right already. Now, will the real Sam Casey please stand up? But I am standing, Leonard. Or do you mean get lost, Leonard? That's a trade secret. There's more to Sam Casey than just a pretty face. <laughs> 